Subtracting positive and negative numbers. We're going to talk a lot about opposites today. Here's an example of opposites. 1 is the opposite of negative 1. 2 is the opposite of negative 2. And the other way of saying that would be negative 4 is the opposite of positive 4. The way that we write opposite in math is to put a negative sign in front of something. Here is an example. This is negative and then inside the parentheses you have the number 1. We would read this as the opposite of positive 1. It's the opposite of 1 and that is negative 1. Here's another example. The negative on the outside of the parentheses says the opposite. So this is the opposite of negative 4. And the opposite of negative 4, as we said before, is positive 4. So keep that in mind. Um, sometimes you'll see that minus negative. And just remember, you can change that into a plus. Minus negative is the same thing as positive. So let's go ahead and talk about adding being the opposite of subtracting. Lots of opposites today. Every subtraction question can be rewritten as an adding question, as an addition question, because you are adding the opposite. Every addition question can be written as a subtraction question because you're subtracting the opposite. Let me show you some examples that might help. 4 plus negative 3 is an addition question. You're adding a negative number. Instead, you can write that as 4 minus 3 you are subtracting instead of adding and you're subtracting positive 3 instead of negative 3 so you can change the the operation and change the sign for addition and subtraction let's look at another example 5 minus negative 2 instead we can say 5 plus 2 we have the opposite operation we're adding instead of subtracting and the opposite sign, it's a positive 2 instead of a negative 2. Look over on the left, and then look over on the right. Hopefully this shows you that we can make things a lot more simple if we understand these rules. Instead of writing out complicated equations and expressions, we can simplify them a little bit more. Because every subtraction or addition question can be written as addition, all we need to remember is the rules for addition. Let's go ahead and review those rules. When you're adding numbers, if the signs are the same, you find the sum. If you're adding numbers with different signs, the signs are different, you find the difference. Your final sign will come from the larger digit. And I put larger in parentheses in little quotations there because it's not actually necessarily a larger number. It's technically the larger absolute value, but it just means the larger number when you ignore all of the signs. For example, negative 1 million and 2. 1 million is a larger digit than 2 if we ignore the signs. Okay, And we'll see that in work. Let's go ahead and actually evaluate some questions. You'll see that some examples, and hopefully that helps it to make a little bit more sense. 4.4 minus negative 6.8. We are going to rewrite this as addition. So instead of saying minus negative, we will say adding a positive number. 4.4 plus 6.8. That simplifies our life, makes it easier for us. The final sign is po going to be positive because both numbers are positive. So you just add the numbers. 4.4 plus 6.8 gives you 11.2. Let's do another one. 13.95 plus negative 52.02. You can pause the recording and try this one on your own. Because the signs are different, we're going to find the difference between these two numbers. 52 minus 13.95 gives us 38.07. Okay, so that's the difference between these two numbers. Our, we know our final answer is negative because there's more negatives than positive. There are 52.02 negatives, and there's only 13.95 positives. So our final answer is actually going to be negative 38.07.
Let's do another one where we actually substitute values into an equation. x minus y, when x is equal to 6.93 and y is equal to 5.97. Again, at any time, you can pause this recording and try the questions out yourself. I know I talk pretty quickly, but you can pause the recording, try it out, and then watch how I solve it as well. So I'm going to start out by substituting. My x value is negative 6.93, and my y value is a positive 5.97. So I have negative 6.93 minus 5.97. I'm going to rewrite this as an addition question, because I prefer to do that rather than subtract. If you prefer to subtract on this step, you can. But I'm going to change it to addition. So instead of subtracting a positive number, now I'm adding a negative number. Now I know the rules for adding. The signs are the same. I'm adding two negative numbers. So I'm going to find the sum. I'm going to add them together. 6.93 plus 5.97 gives me 12.9. The final sign will be negative because both numbers are negative. So my solution then would be negative 12.9. For the final question, we're going to substitute negative numbers into a, a subtraction question. This one here has the most number of negatives you can have. So it's the toughest type of question. So again, you can pause it and try it out on your own, see what you get. First step is to substitute in. I'm going to substitute negative 11.38 in for A and negative 32.59 in for B. And the equation or the expression is going to look like this negative 11.38 minus negative 32.59. Lots of negatives in there. Remember though that you can rewrite that as addition. So instead of saying minus negative 32.59, we can say plus 32.95 or 59 and then look at it as an addition question where all the rules of addition will apply. When you're adding two numbers, the signs are different you're going to find the difference. 32 minus 11, 32.59 minus 11.38 gives you 21.21. The final sign for this question is going to be positive because there are 32.59 positive numbers and only 11.38 negatives. Okay? You can see that there. There's more positives than negatives because the positive number is larger than the negative number. So our final solution is going to be positive 21.21. Remember that subtracting is adding in the opposite. There's lots of opposites in this lesson, so you should probably go back and review them. We talked about opposite numbers, opposite operations, and how we can change subtraction questions into adding the opposite. I hope this lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.